Toshiba remote magmeters, such as the LF622, ship directly from the factory with default parameter settings. Once in hand, the magmeter remote style converter must be configured to match the specific detector or flow tube. Combined style magmeters, however, are configured at the factory and do not require additional setup. Follow along for a better understanding of how to wire and set up a remote style magmeter mounted separately from the meter tube. First, two cables are required to connect the meter tube and the remote style converter. These cables, such as the Cable 3A Excitation Cable, are available from Toshiba. The Cable 3A Excitation Cable does not have a shield, as seen here. The second cable required is the Cable 2A Signal Cable. This two-conductor cable has a full braided shield around each conductor, as seen here. After stripping the outer covering from the cable on both ends, the braided shields are loosened and the conductors removed from the interior of the braid. Then, the two braids are twisted together and now form the conductor, labelled G. Make certain that the conductor is connected at both ends. The excitation cable wires are connected to X, Y and E. The black wire is X, the white wire is Y and the third color, usually red or green, is E. The signal cable wires are connected to A, B and G. The black wire is A, the white wire is B, and the two braided shields become G. Note that the G terminal in the magmeter is not ground, but in this instance is an input to the measuring circuit. Once the wiring is completed and power has been applied to the meter, the following parameters must be set in order to ensure proper operation of your magnetic flow meter. Excitation current, default set at 0.2 amps. Meter size, default set at 6 inches. Range, default set at 2500 gallons per minute. Once meter size is set, the range will default to meters per second. This is the range high for the 20 milliamps output signal. Zero flow is always 4 milliamps. Once the converter is powered up, place a finger over the middle infrared sensor for at least 3 seconds to unlock the display. Enter the arrows as they appear here, followed by Enter to unlock the menu and make changes. Do not push the sensor like a button. Instead, slide a finger across for better results. Now that the display is unlocked, the names above the sensors will change to Escape, Counter and Set. First select Set to reveal the selection menu, then select Detailed. After selecting the Detailed menu, find the Detector menu. Enter the excitation current from the flow tube here, using the four-digit number located on the neck of the flow tube. In this instance, the four-digit number is 0.1555. Select Enter, which will trigger a cursor to indicate the increments which are set using the arrow buttons, one digit at a time. First set the digit on the left, then use the right arrow to move to the next digit, and so on. Once the four-digit number is entered, select Enter, which will prompt Set OK, then select OK followed by Escape. Next, set the meter size. Arrow down to the next item in the menu, which is Size, and select Enter. Use the arrow buttons to scroll through the list of sizes. Notice that metric sizes are available in the menu. For use in the United States, engineering units in inches should be selected. Select the meter size corresponding to the meter size purchased, then select Enter. The display will read Set OK. Select OK, followed by Escape. The next setting to adjust for the 4 to 20 milliamp output is the range high value for the 4 to 20 milliamp signal. This setting can be found in a different menu section accessed by selecting Escape, moving down to the Range menu and selecting Enter. Next, find the Range 1 setting shown as R1 and select Enter to view the current range setting. In this section of the menu, engineering units can be changed to the user's preference, followed by the value. In this instance, meters per second is shown. To switch to gallons per minute, First move the cursor to the engineering unit and then use the arrow key to change meters to gallons. 
Repeat this step to change seconds to minutes by moving the cursor one position to the right. Finally, move the cursor to the value range to change the user's preference, 40.0 in this case. Select Enter to confirm Set OK and select OK. Now that the settings have been corrected, the meter should read accurately. One last setting to consider is the totalizer accessed by the Count Pulse menu. Find the Count Pulse menu by escaping from the Range menu and using the arrow to find the Count Pulse menu and selecting Enter. The Count Rate and Engineering Unit are now displayed. Here, the display shows 10 gallons per one count or pulse output. To adjust the count to every one gallon, simply select Enter and use the arrow keys to change the count from 10 to 1.0. Select Enter to confirm and set OK by pressing OK, then Escape. In most cases, the display is defaulted correctly for the second line to show the totalizer. This can be confirmed by using the arrows to access the display menu and selecting Display 2. The correct setting for this is Count B. If another setting is shown, it is recommended to change the count. Select Escape, Exit and Enter to return to the measurement screen. Exit OK or prompt to final OK. The Toshiba remote-style magnetic flow meter setup is now complete.